Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel for another Hot Toys unboxing and review. Today it's the Death Watch Mandalorian from Star Wars The Mandalorian. These guys can be seen at the end of Season 1 in a flashback when they are rescuing the young Din Djarin. So let's talk about the box. It's the usual Star Wars collectibles design, which means it's a black box with a picture of the figure and the Star Wars logo. You also have a colored strip. It's orange brownish for the Mandalorian figures. You have a picture of the figure there and also on the side. Then when we open the box there is another promotional picture of the figure and then the figure itself. So first, let's talk about the accessories. As you can see, there are not a lot of accessories with this figure, but we get exactly what's needed. So first, let's talk about the display base. As you may have recognized it, it's a display base that Hot Toys has already used many times. I've talked about it on my channel before. It's the sandy environment with footprints. I really like this display base because I love how the sandy environment is sculpted. It really looks great. The problem is the footprints because you have to pose the figure with its feet exactly on the footprints, otherwise it does look weird. So, like I said in some previous videos, I would love if Hot Toys could update this display base for future figures by removing the footprints. Then it would be a perfect sandy environment display base, at least in my opinion. About the color, it's a gray sandy environment similar to what we had with the Scoot Trooper of the Mandalorian. So it looks pretty good. You also have the usual Star Wars nameplates there. And for the stand, it's a dynamic stand for better poses with the jetpack. So now let's take a look at the different hands. You have six different hands. These two can hold the weapons. It's using the same armor plate than the Mandalorian, except it's painted all in blue. Then there are closed fist hands and open hands. It's not a lot of hands, but I think it's more than enough for this figure. Now let's take a look at the weapons. This figure comes with two different weapons. First, the classic Mandalorian blaster pistol. It's a simple but nice weapon. I like the little scratches they have given it. It looks really cool. And then there is the Boba Fett style weapon. It's a lot bigger. It also has some scratches with lo which looks pretty cool. So it's two nice weapons that they have included. Now let's take a look at the jetpack. The jetpack is painted in blue and some metallic paint. I think it looks pretty cool. It works with magnets, which I think is the easiest way. Unlike the Clone Trooper jetpack, the rocket isn't removable. The, the uh, thrusters can move like this. You also have some uh, effects, the same as the Clone Trooper. So it looks really nice, we'll try them on the figure later. So now let's take a look at the final accessory. It's the second fire guard. 
which means you can buy two Death Watch Mandalorians and they won't look exactly the same. You can display one with this fine guard and the other with the big fine guard, which is pretty great. We'll try that later on the figure, and now, well, let's talk about the figure itself. It's a simple figure, but it does look so good. I mean, who doesn't love Mandalorians? His armor is painted in blue with some white marks. You can spot the Death Watch symbol there. If you haven't watched the Clone Wars, I would definitely recommend it. Because there are many elements of the Mandalorian that are tied to the Clone Wars and Star Wars Rebels. So I would definitely recommend watching these two series. They are amazing and definitely some of the best Star Wars content. So now let's take a closer look at the figure. First, the boots. I was expecting plastic, but they used full leather instead, which is fine. I do like the dirt effect they have given them. You can definitely see it at the tips, but it's also all over the boots, though on the rest it's more subtle. You can put the Mandalorian Blaster Pistol in the Ulster. It's really easy, it works with magnets, which is cool. I love the weathering done on the armor parts. Just look at this fine guard. There are some dents, it looks so cool, like you can really tell he's been to battle. The chest plate also has some dents here and here, plus some scratches. It looks really good. The helmet also features some scratches. It looks so good. The paint hap on this figure is fantastic. Speaking of helmets, it's the same type of Mandalorian helmet has Jango Fett and Boba Fett, which means he has the antenna and it can actually move. So it does look pretty good like this as well. Uh, you can't remove the helmet, has your no face sculpted under it. In terms of articulation, it's limited. You can make it, him look down, but not further than this. Same for looking up. So it's good, but I would have preferred the same type of articulation range as the Mandalorian. The rest of the figure has better articulation range view. You can move the arms like this. Like this. The legs also can move nicely. As you can see. Now let's try the second fire guard. You remove this one and put this one. It does look good, but I do prefer this one because it's bigger. Uh, this one has some small dents through, and uh, it has the same type of weathering as the rest of the armor parts. And now. Let's try some poses.
This is a great figure that I'm glad I picked up. I'm so happy with it. I do love the weathering that was done on the armor parts. It looks beautiful. This figure also has a great articulation range, except for the helmet, it's limited, but it's still good. You don't get a lot of accessories, though you do get what's needed for this figure. And if you are planning on getting a second Death Watch Mandalorian, you can actually give him a slightly different look with the second Fire Guard. So I definitely recommend this figure for fans of the Mandalorian. It will look great in your collection. So thanks again for watching. I'll be back with more unboxings and reviews very soon. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Some of my upcoming videos include the Armorer from the Mandalorian, Captain Rex from the Clone Wars, and Mysterio from Spider-Man Far From Home. Bye!